Hey everybody, Daniel Richardson here. Simon Terrell. And uh, yes, we're here and we've got a new show that's going to come right to you guys. Now, I think you can agree with this, that pro wrestling fans and horror movie fans, they have a lot in common. And a lot of times there is some overlap. Now I feel like... There's definitely a nerddom associated. Absolutely. Well, I think it's, you know, both fans, they're kind of like the outsiders of their yep. different things. Like horror movie fans, I don't know about you, but i got a lot of friends that are like snooty... Academy Award kind of movie guys. So yes, whenever I'm just like, you know, yeah. like, what's your favorite movie? And they're like, Casablanca and, you know, fucking Dances with Wolves. I'm just like, you know, Evil Dead. They're like, uh, really? You, you watch yeah. that? Oh. And growing up, pro wrestling, same thing. Because, I mean, when you're a kid, damn it, when it's really you, and people's like, what, you know, what kind of sports you watch? NASCAR and football. And I'm just like, pro wrestling. And I'm just like, <laughs> you know, that's <laughs> fake, right? You yeah. know, every time. So I feel like, Horror fans and wrestling fans, they do share a lot in common and from that aspect. But then, of course, you do have the crossovers. Yes. Now, going on, man, we're shooting this actually in the cemetery right now. I'm not going to lie. And the groundskeeper, you know, I keep that cemetery looking nice. So we're going to hear the groundskeeper yeah. out there. Oh, Jimmy. Anyways, um, but, you know, when you do movies that crosses over with horror you get like Monster Brawl. Oh yeah. What was the uh, TNA zombie? Zombies versus pro wrestlers. No, it was. Is that, I mean, I, I, that, I, that is I literally that, yeah. <laughs> Matt Hardy and uh, Kurt uh, Shane, Angle, Douglas. Shane Douglas, Piper. I uh, mean, uh, yeah. I love that it's actually called pro wrestlers versus zombies. That's fucking. I think great. so. Yeah. That's literally this is great. It's just like literally someone's like, "What's title?" He's like, "I don't know." It's fucking zombies. Well, what do you want? Pro, pro wrestlers versus zombies. zombies what? Well, what do you want? That's it's fine. like this is right down. Okay, yeah. it's like fine. That'll work. Um. But yes, but then, of course, you have the other side of that. When horror movies kind of go into wrestling. When you have characters like Kane or the Boogeyman. But let's be real. There's only one. There's only one. There's really only one. There's only one dead man. And this is what we're going to be doing right here. We're actually going to be doing an in-depth look at the, you know, the Phenom. The Undertaker. All his pay-per-view matches, chronologically, start from the beginning, all the way up until today. And uh, each week we'll be coming to you with uh, our in-depth look, our... Yep. Overall analysis and just give your own we'll, personal thoughts. Maybe we'll throw a little uh, trivia tidbits in there every exactly. once in a while, you know? So uh, uh, this is, yeah, we'll just be kind of doing this thing. and You guys are in for some great matches, uh, but unfortunately you're in for <laughs> some bad matches. And you take the good and you take the bad. Yeah. You take them both and there but, you go. Uh, for the most part, you're going to see, or you're going to at least hear about, yeah. uh, one of the greatest, can I, can I use Man. Man. Whatever, go ahead, I guess. Whatever. It's you're going to see it. one of the greatest gimmicks in the history of pro wrestling. I don't care if you're a fan of The Undertaker or a fan of your you know, WWF guy or WCW guy or a TNA guy or whatever you are. You cannot deny the Strictly fact. Strictly an AWA guy. <laughs> you cannot deny the fact that, that, that Mark Calloway, a.k.a. The Undertaker, is one of the, has the best longevity. Because, yeah. I mean, if you think about it from a, from a uh, basic perspective... Mm -hmm. A dead Undertaker zombie guy yeah. worked probably in 1990, but you think in 2019? Yeah, and yet here he is, still going, still kicking. Reinvents himself mm -hmm. for better and for worse. Yeah, I mean, and he was a guy too. I mean, when you look at it from a kayfabe standpoint, a very storied career. Yes. You know what I mean? Like the guy was never just hanging back. The guy was never just like an afterthought. No, this dude had a storyline every pay per view. The dude had something going on. All the time. Yep. You'll never see him compete for that 24 7 title. I mean, he'll never no. be like a jobber <laughs> running around like, oh, we can get top. No, no, no. The guy always, always had something going on. And a, a big advantage he had, not only was he, you know, 6'10, 7 foot tall, whatever, 300 pounds, mm -hmm. extremely athletic. Oh, absolutely. Agile. I wouldn't even uh, say athletic for his size. No, no. Just athletic. <laughs> just in general. Um, so, you know, I guess the main thing we'll get into right now, because once again, this is kind of a. a, a the intro, I guess? Yeah. Um, tell us why you like The Undertaker. Like, I mean, for you personally, I mean, I guess it's going to be obvious when you look at the posters that, you know, the kind of people, you know, we are here. Yeah. But, I mean, just for you, like, what was the, always the draw? Oh, it, it goes back to childhood. Okay. I mean, it, 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 it does. I mean, I was, I've always been a horror movie fan. You know, in the late 80s and early 90s, you know, it was Halloween, Friday the 13th, all the sequels. I don't give a shit. I watched them all and loved them all. Even Jason Takes Manhattan. 
Nothing wrong with that one, man. That's right. Nothing wrong with that. Anyways, but I also was a huge pro wrestling fan, of course, Macho Man, Hulk Hogan, Mr. Perfect, Piper, all the, all those guys. Then Undertaker comes on the scene. <laughs> And, you know, I think there's a, a, a clip of, like, when he debuts and there's a kid in the audience that's just like... Yeah. I was, you know, I mean, not, not that exact kid, but I was <laughs> that kid at home. But it wasn't necessarily a terrified look because, you know, when he debuted, I was seven years old. Mm -hmm. I would have been eight later that year. But it's like, what is this? Because yeah. now it's like there's no bright colors and no flashy moves and this and that. It's a guy all in black, tattooed. Mm hmm you know, uh, uh, walking very slowly and methodically. And it got I, deadly serious. And I said, this is Jason. Yeah. This is Michael Myers, mm -hmm. which later on was the uh, uh, catalyst for Kane. Absolutely. But, but still, yeah, I mean. It was like, you know, this is this is as close as I'm going to get to one of these guys being, you know, in the WWF. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going to kill everybody. So, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was just awesome. Love at first sight, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there, there's no doubt. What about you, Daniel? What is it about The Undertaker? You know, I think you know a lot of it has to do with that, but for me, sadly, I think uh, you know wrestling was always realer for longer than it should have been. <laughs> yeah. I would say probably third or fourth grade when I first started trying to think like maybe this is <laughs> maybe everybody's been right for years now. Yeah. But for me, it was really like he was a guy that I would have feared because I'm just like, how do you stop this guy? Like even Hogan struggled, motherfucker. Yeah. Like Hogan couldn't even get the job done. He Yo, didn't, He didn't even do the leg drop on the guy to beat him. I mean, it's a, we'll get to it. Don't worry about that. Oh, but yeah. um, I think it's also it's just the fact that like I could just respect the awesomeness of it. Like for whatever reason, as cartoony as the gimmick is, he seemed so real. Like amongst all these cartoon superheroes, this was something that's yeah. like you can't play around with this guy. Like, you know, no matter what, you ain't playing around with this guy, and that's what I like. And then just the fact that like. As we all grow up and evolve, he was evolving too. So by the time I'm in junior yeah. high, this, the Ministry of Darkness. And of course, you know, you're an angsty teenager who just hates the world. Here's a guy who kind of has the answers. You know what? I want to bring darkness to everybody. I'm like, I like this guy. This, you know, Even more so yeah. than I did before. And I think that's just what it was. I think it's just like you said, we're horror fans, we're wrestling fans, and just the, our personality just kind of fit with this guy. So, um, And come on, he had one of the greatest managers Absolutely. Ever. So, I mean, managers, gimmicks, storyline, and the whole thing. And, like, no matter how cheesy it got to some fans' eyes. He's not Lex Luger, but me, he is the total package. It, it, he really is. And, like, I just, I, I love the whole thing. Like, I love, I always. Oh, my God, yeah. I think about the cape. As we get along this journey, I will go, I'll, I'll drop little pieces. Like, what, what I was going through is, like, you yeah. know, 10-year-old Daniel, what he was thinking when he was watching this or whatever. But, uh, so what we're going to be doing is, uh, within the next couple of weeks, we'll be dropping these for you guys, and uh, hopefully you guys will join us for this, and yeah, yeah just have fun with it. So, um, And now we are, we are, you know, a special surprise at the beginning, we will be covering a few, a couple of pre... We're going to be doing the, the prequels, if you will, yeah. <laughs> the Undertaker prequels. So, uh, you know, yeah. A, a gimmick, or, or, you know, a person that nobody really knows much about. No. Actually, you know, I, I, mean, I got, you know. I got some, uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to tie that into the Undertaker mythos here. Yeah. I, got, I got a whole thing worked oh, out, yeah. so. All right, well, that's all we got, so. I'm Daniel. I'm Simon. And we'll catch you guys next time. Later.